This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. On our website, we're selling some tremendous new DVDs called Incredible Creatures That Defy Evolution. If you go to our website, VaticanCatholic.com, and then go to our online store, you will find them there. These amazing DVDs totally refute the theory of evolution. By looking at all kinds of different animals, insects, fish, land creatures, and their amazing abilities and design are totally incompatible with the idea of evolution. Darwin himself said that if any complex organ existed which could not possibly have been formed by numerous successive slight modifications, in other words, gradual changes, my theory would absolutely break down." End quote. In other words, if you can find examples of irreducible complexity, living things that have a series of complex parts which all must exist simultaneously for the living thing to be alive and to function, that completely overthrows his theory. And every creature we look at in nature exhibits this irreducible complexity. But this DVD goes through some of the most stunning examples of these creatures and their abilities with fantastic footage for example it covers the bombardier beetle this little insect which creates chemical explosions inside itself as a defense mechanism but yet has the right chambers and chemical mixing so that it doesn't blow itself up it actually releases all kinds of super fast explosions but if all of these chambers and these processes at work in this little beetle were not present from the beginning, it would have blown itself up, and so it would never have had time to evolve. It completely refutes the theory of evolution. It looks at the woodpecker and its unique skull, and the woodpecker actually has the thickest skull per body weight of any creature, and that's because it is made and designed to withstand the impact of its action smashing against the trees. And brain surgeons even study the skulls of woodpeckers to learn more about trauma and things like that. It looks at the beaver, this amazing animal that constructs these dams. Somehow it knows how to build these dams so that it stays dry on top. He also knows how to construct storage places underneath the dam for food, areas where they can give birth, and for instance it will go and grab a big tree limb and it will be dragging it through the water and the current will be pulling it, yet it will make the calculations to swim in a certain way so that it doesn't get caught up. It's calculating all of this automatically. It's just amazing. And even engineers study these beavers and how they construct these dams. And so all of that information had to be miraculously instilled into the beaver by God. It covers these amazing birds and all of their abilities, their instincts to build these nests and it looks at one bird in particular, the incubator bird. This bird builds these huge nests that are sometimes 50 feet high. And the nests have to remain at 91 degrees Fahrenheit or the chicks will die. And so somehow, miraculously, the bird knows how to keep the nest at 91 degrees Fahrenheit. It will remove sticks if it's too warm. It will add them if it's too cold and the egg is buried near the bottom of this and somehow when it climbs out of the shell it knows how to work its way to the top of all of these branches etc it's just amazing and then the bird that is born somehow instinctively knows how to build the same nest and it covers these other birds and insects and their simply amazing flying ability and our most sophisticated helicopters and jet aircraft cannot approach the flying efficiency of God's birds and insects. We've got these dragonflies that can fly forward and backward. You've got these sparrows, arguably the most amazing of all the birds in terms of pure flying ability. They can fly right through a tree and not even hit a branch. They can adjust like individual feathers. You have birds that fly from Alaska to Hawaii during the winter and they will fly to the basically exact same spot every year and somehow get there each time. And the video actually covers this one bird in particular, the Pacific Golden Plover. It's less than a pound and it lives in Alaska. 
and it flies to Hawaii during the winter and it has to fly 88 hours non-stop and it couldn't make that flight it would drop on the way and die because it's flying over water and the bird is simply too small to fly that long non-stop except for the fact that these birds fly in formation somehow they know how to do that and so that takes less energy and only by doing that are they able to make the entire trip and therefore that knowledge is obviously something that God instilled in them because if that's not there from the beginning they don't make it to Hawaii and they drop dead on the way it talks about these fireflies that demonstrate these incredible light patterns and they actually produce cold light something that we still cannot create normal light bulbs are mostly made up of heat and only a small percentage of them is light but the fireflies produce cold light which is almost 100 percent light and they even flash their lights in planned sequences and somehow they know how to do it all at the same time on occasion it's just amazing it covers bears and some of their amazing abilities and the things that they go through it also quotes a very interesting admission from Darwin he said that simple instincts such as bees making beehives could overthrow my whole theory end quote there was a moment of a bit more honest reflection from Darwin and he's absolutely right. The simple instinct of bees making beehives overthrows his complete hoax. One of the animals that it covers, is, which might be the most incredible of all the creatures, I mean, they're all amazing, is the penguin. These penguins live at the South Pole, where it's 100 degrees below zero, and there are 100 mile an hour winds. And when they give birth, if their eggs were to fall on the ice, they would die within two minutes and so the female gives the egg to the male and the male keeps the egg on its feet so that it stays off the ice and then the female goes into the water and is gone and the female is gone off swimming looking for food for almost three months and the male keeps this egg at 95 degrees holding it on its feet and covering it with its pouch for all of this time somehow it knows how to do that and knows that it needs to do that and it would have to know that from the very beginning or they would all die and these penguins actually fly underwater and it's said that they spend like three quarters of the year in the water and so they must sleep in the water and it's never been seen it's just amazing and so when the female finally comes back with food and the food is in the stomach of the female so that the newborn penguin will somehow subsist off the food in the stomach of the penguin it approaches this flock of tons of penguins and to get there it sometimes has to walk over 50 miles of ice and so after being gone for almost three months and walking over 50 miles of ice it approaches this flock of tons of penguins all of whom look about the same and yet the female knows exactly how to find precisely the male and the mate it must recognize the call and so it finds a, her mate in the midst of tons of penguins and what's perhaps most spectacular about all of this is that frequently the female penguin will arrive back and greet the male on the very day that the newborn penguin comes out of the shell it's simply amazing it's miraculous and these penguins also they rotate in these flocks some of them go on the outside some of them go on the inside in order to keep warm and so this incredible series of DVDs, three volumes, you can get it at our online store, vaticancatholic.com, absolutely worth getting. It covers many other animals, insects, fish, birds, etc. It's probably the single best refutation of evolution, total destruction. I mean, there are a lot of things that really refute it well. We have a video creation of miracles, past and present, which deals with a variety of topics. But in terms of just destroying evolution and a DVD with tremendous gripping footage, this is, in my opinion, the best thing. And it really shows you what an incredible insult, what a blasphemy this lie is to God, all the things he's created. And with the proliferation of technological abilities, it only serves to confirm to an even greater degree how amazing his creation is. Yet most people today conclude exactly the opposite 
more and more people believe now that all of this is the result of blind chance and random processes. What a lie. Evolution is the worst lie of all time.